Dragon Zebra Herd and welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters. And today we're continuing on with the enemy arc. Of course, or the enemy warrior arc. It looks like we're making our way over to fight some clones, but we did actually get a couple of friendlies on our side last time. So now we also have Goku and Krillin with combination of everybody else. Right now we have a team of Ginyu Cell and Krillin, but I think I want to change that up a little bit just because, of course, I want to try to get our lowest level characters in at any given point in time. Oh, there has to be a cutscene between Freeze and Krillin. I will be very surprised if there is not. But we're about to find out as we move into our next battle, which is going to have clone Vegeta, Tien, and Nappa. So Nappa will be able to go against his clone self, but he's already done that in the past, so. Oh, no cutscene, that stinks. Of course, Frieza and Krillin have that history. I mean, Frieza killed Krillin. And it was, you know, it's something he's made comments on in the past, you know, when Frieza has come back, especially in the most recent thing I think he did um, in Super. But, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, I feel like I need to talk about Dragon Ball Super more, because I, I feel like I talk about it a lot, but then I occasionally will get, a, you know, somebody saying, hey, have you ever heard of Dragon Ball Super? And I'm like, I'm 15 episodes in and I've talked about it so many times. How do they, how are they still asking? I don't understand. Ow, okay, okay, I get it. Also, I haven't played in like a solid week because I pre-recorded like a bunch of episodes. Uh, so if I'm awful today, I'm awful today, I'm sorry. There we go, ooh, I like it, I like it, that was very nice. Yeah, yeah, like that, like that, do that again. I feel like that's a borrowed voice line. I mean, I don't know if there are any borrowed voice lines, but it might be just like a really like commonly done voice line, because I've noticed that sometimes this character say something they would normally say in like a different, ow, okay, hold on, hold on, I'm forgetting the buttons. Stop, stop, there we go, get rid of you. But uh, yeah, like stuff like, like that? Oh wait, he's still alive? He's still going? Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go, thank you, Frieza. Okay, let's not let silly stuff happen like that again. I can just, oh, that was too far away. Too far away. Come on. Whoa. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but it'll work, it'll work. We're gonna beat up TN like super bad here. Maybe I'll get Nappa in, that'd be fun. Ready, Nappa, help me out. Boom, that was really good. That was really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and, no, nope, mess that up. <laughs> I'm really bad at this game right now. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hit him, and then blast him. And that should finish Tien off. It does, with a lot of extra room. And now it's just Nappa versus Nappa, which we we should be able to handle just fine. But yeah, if I get to talk about Dragon Ball Super more, I mean, there isn't too much more I can talk about. I haven't watched any more episodes since I've last watched him. I usually don't have many much time to, but when I do, I try to watch him like as much at once as possible. Okay, Frieza, get in. I haven't used you too much this round, so maybe we could go ahead and do boom. That was good. That was really good. So ow, ow, dude, stop. We're countering you, apparently. Let's charge, and then we will go golden. And this should help us out a lot. Oh my gosh, <laughs> instantly hit. Oh my gosh, it was only for one hit, but it was an awesome hit now, wasn't it? Okay, so we won there, two bald, I guess three bald guys. Frieza is bald, but he doesn't seem like it because he definitely doesn't seem like a species that's supposed to have hair. So like, if you aren't supposed to have hair, then are you bald? You know, like obviously like Krillin and Nappa, they can have hair, they just don't, so they're bald. Does that make sense? Probably not. Either way, we're going into this next battle, which is going to be our boss of this area, very small area. Goku and Frieza team up is the name of the chapter, so we'll find out what ends up happening here, but hopefully something exciting we're gonna have to see. Uh, after this loading screen. Oh boy. Are you guys gonna say anything? Come on! <laughs> An awkward silence. Well, it would appear the machine is safe, at least. Yeah, I've about had it with this. Not being able to destroy these dopey tagalongs is really starting to get on my nerves. What's with Bulma? Does she not value her pathetic existence? As long as she continues to be useful, then that's really besides the point. If I were to hazard a guess, I'd say you had a plan brewing. You'd be correct. But I require more than just some foolhardy button pusher for what I have in mind. The advantage, I believe, is Bulma giving Goku and the others some sort of technological assistance. Aha, yes, now I see. So it's her you're after. Or more precisely, her skills. Ah, okay. Well, the restoration of my army will require talented technicians. I don't think she'd be willing to work for you. But before I begin recruiting, I think we have a little trash problem to take care of. 
Okay, so we're going to go against the clones. That was interesting. It sort of seemed more than anything was just background plotting. Not really Goku and Frieza teaming up, but may maybe soon, maybe after this. I mean, yeah, the, the, sometimes there are multiple maps in one chapter, so maybe we're just sort of getting to that. But I wanted to talk about something I haven't talked about throughout the series. I think I've talked about it in other Dragon Ball series I've done, but I can't remember. And that is a fan manga made by a huge number of different artists that have contributed called Dragon Ball Multiverse. Now, this was made way before Super was even a confirmed thing or Battle of the Gods or any of that. So while it does have some similarities to Super, they're not like intentional rip-offs or anything like that. It is just its own thing and it's super cool. So basically, it takes place after Dragon Ball Z, and it doesn't seem to have anything about Dragon Ball GT really influenced in it. Um, and it's a it's a fan made manga where basically there is a tournament between universes. It sounds similar if you've seen Super. Um, apparently, there, I I can't remember how many universes there were, but I think there were way more than there was in um, in Super. I think there was there was twelve universes in Super. I think there was eighteen in Dragon Ball Multiverse. But it did so much fan service that was a lot of fun because every multiverse was sort of just like a different. Like they, they were a different universe, but it was different in a different way. Like in Dragon Ball Super, multiverses like or different universes are just totally different places with different characters most of the time. Most of the time. But in Dragon Ball Multiverse, they're all the same universe, but they're sort of like different things have happened in those universes, you know? Um, which, you know, neither of those ideas are wrong out exactly. Um, let's go ahead and take care of Trunks here. But um, because of that, you have all these different things. Like there's a universe where Super Boo won against Gohan and everybody and was able to absorb every living thing in the universe. Every single living thing in the universe. So he's like this super being. He's the only person in that universe to fight. But then there's others where like King Cold and Freeze's you know, mutants are all still around, which is pretty crazy. Um, there's ones where it's just Saiyans, like the Saiyans beat Frieza when Frieza was destroying the Saiyan planet, and that universe was really weak. It is such a good read if you're like a super Dragon Ball fan. Like if you're super big into it, it's really fun to read. Are we all in here, or is it just Goku and Krillin? <sighs> what a relief. I thought I was going to die back there. Huh? Frieza? <laughs> Cell? All right, Goku, explain now. Uh, I don't really understand the details myself, you know, so it almost seems like Frieza isn't a bad guy anymore. No, he is most certainly a bad guy. Are you nuts? Evil might as well be seeping out of every pore in his face. No reformed person could ever look that evil if they tried. Now, how about you shut up and do something about these guys? Uh, Bulma, things are about to get complicated right now. Enough talk. You must now activate that machine at once. Hey, don't be so rude to the girl. Time is scarce, as is my patience. Stop this needless repetition, will you? Hey, calm down and relax. We have our own problems to figure out too, you know. Okay, so I guess we're figuring them out. This is so weird. It is so weird, I love it. Okay, I get it now, but are you sure? Yeah, there's no need to worry. All you need to do is just use the machine on them. After that, we can all go and defeat 21 together. Okay, so in this timeline, there's no linking with the good guys technically in the story. It's, it seems like in this timeline, um, the good guys have made a machine, or more specifically Bulma has, that has fixed the issue, I guess, maybe? Goku... <sighs> Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, but. What are you waiting for? Hurry it up, woman. <laughs> you think threats like that are gonna work on me? Ooh. What was that? If I die, then who's gonna be left to neutralize the waves, huh? I mean, unless you want to be stuck with that artificial soul inside you forever. Is that what you want? Yeah, Cell. Even Bulma stands up to you. Bulma just got really brave all of a sudden. I know, it's awesome. Really? She seems the same as she always <laughs> is. Either I use the machine and you agree to help us, or you stay like that forever. Ooh. So, what'll it be? Fine, have it your way. Time is scarce, as is my patience. Lord Frieza? 
Regaining my true power and defeating Android 21 is my top priority right now. No matter what, I need to defeat whoever and whatever stands in the way of my freedom. Don't you agree? Yeah, who's to say Android of 21 course. won't find a new wave to wish, make? Lord Frieza. Remember, you promised. Let me start up the machine now. Okay. Ha! Uh oh. Will it work? Okay. That sort of sounded like the noise that happens when something doesn't work. But I guess it's working. They're gonna get their power restored. Which might be bad news for us if Wait uh... just a second. I don't feel any different. No. I think that might have actually worked. Uh-oh. It's gone. That weird presence is gone. So does that mean that we, the player, are gone? It would seem those artificial souls were trying to take control over us. But now, they are completely gone. So the soul inside me is the only one left now. If this is a joke, I'm not laughing. Yeah, but w what's gonna happen to us? You really aren't making this easy. In fact, you're making it more difficult. Captain Ginny looks so, like, awkward. In any case, I'd like to thank you for finally removing that annoying presence from my body. So, when the time finally comes for me to kill you, I'll try to make it quick. Not now. <laughs> uh Hey, what are you raising your hand for? Nothing's gonna happen, you know. What? Huh? Impossible. My power's all gone. Wait, what? Did she zap all of their powers? What went wrong here? This isn't how you said things would go. What? But I thought that using the machine would let you fight. I don't... Did I somehow get confused? I spent so much time explaining things to you, and you still didn't understand it? So in other words, you deceived us. You don't know what you're talking about. Do you have any idea what's going on? I didn't lie. See, you're free to move as you please, aren't you? It won't let you use enough power to actually fight, though. Explain what's happening here. I demand answers. I thought you just did. This machine can only suppress the waves. So even though it allows you to move freely, it doesn't allow you to fight like normal. Oh, so before they couldn't even move without uh, without my intervention. But now they can move around, but they can't fight. Ooh, so that's what it does. Whoops, my mistake. It was so confusing. I guess I got it wrong. You maggots. You pay for this. I mean, we only helped. Oh, and... We need to use the neutralizing machine every so often, or else we're back to square one. Then you won't be able to get a single word out. What? So then, unfortunately, it would appear for the time being, I need you and that wretched machine. You know, Bulma, I'm surprised that you actually had the audacity to threaten a perfect being such as myself. I mean, you're not all that perfect if you can't do anything about it. <laughs> Say whatever you want, it won't change anything. So, will you work together with us, or not? Hmm. Do you actually think I'm just going to nod and say yes? Why not? Uh, hey, what are you doing? You aren't linked anymore, are you? Don't forget what'll happen without my machine. Unfortunately, my link still has yet to be severed. Oh, so we're still linked to him? Considering this, I have no use for you now. What? Uh oh. Really? This is not good. Every one of you, all of you need to receive punishment for deceiving me. I am so confused. This is making so little sense. Oh. Don't say that. Why not team up with us for now? Uh, I don't want to do this. I feel bad for I do not want to do this. Can we still argue with them? I don't What's know. This? You dare to stand in my way yet again after what happened to you last time? What happened to me last time? You'd better watch it or I really will erase you. Well, I don't think I have much to lose now. Oh, is he just gonna do what he wants anyways? I guess so.
He's frozen Wait, again. Don't tell me. Does that mean the soul inside Frieza stopped him from doing something bad again? Okay, well, I guess I guess we did. Oh, we're still arguing. Why won't you listen more carefully and just simply do as I say? Let me go! So be it, but don't forget how much of my wrath you've incurred. And be prepared to suffer the consequences once this is all over. Okay, if you say so. I mean, I might just disappear once it's all over. You might not be able to get You're your revenge. Worthless. Nothing but a little maggot. It sounds like he's talking to himself, like he got really self-conscious. But I suppose I have no choice for the time being. Whoever's inside of me, pay attention! It's all up to you to defeat 21. Do you hear me? I'll do my best, I've done it once before. Even if you need help from Goku and his allies. He looks willing and able, so I'm fine with it. Okay, so I guess we really are working together for now. Uh, it almost seemed like they were in a bit of a pickle, but we intervened enough. Okay, interesting stuff going on there. Um, and now we have a much larger map, or chapter six map seven, unbelievable Goku and Frieza team up still. Oh, we'll be able to put Frieza against his own clone here. Finally, Tom is excited because he just pooped. I've noticed that there's this weird pattern where Tom always uses the litter box, our cat Tom, and then he gets excited, he'll run around the room and make a bunch of noise, only when I'm recording Dragon Ball. Don't know why Dragon Ball is his poop time, but it is. Anyways, we're gonna do that, <laughs> and we're gonna take on Clone Frieza. So it looks like we have uh, Frieza, Ginyu, and uh, Yamcha here. So the only new cutscene should be Frieza versus Frieza. We've already done Ginyu versus Ginyu, Nappa versus Nappa, Cell, no, 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 no not Cell versus Cell. Frieza, what's up? Are you uh, not gonna turn into that golden form thing? So I guess we have this instead. Ooh, that's sort of, like I could have gotten this at any time, so that sort of stinks, but I guess, I mean, it's good to have it now. And what about you? Are you not going to turn into that ridiculously named Saiyan form of yours? Oh, he doesn't even need it. I want to, but I can't transform at the moment. I'm having trouble releasing my Saiyan power. <laughs> if I were used to this Link thing, it's possible I might be able to do something. I mean, I really don't think, no matter the circumstances, Goku would be talking to Frieza like this. I think he'd have a little bit more of a serious demeanor. Just because of the rivalry they have, it's always been super negative with how evil Frieza is, but maybe I'd be wrong. This is pretty much the best I can do right now. And after all that training I did at Lord Beerus' place too, what a total waste of time. Yeah, you'll be able to use it at some point. Speaking of Beerus, I remember seeing him the last time I went to Earth. How is it you came to associate with the God of Destruction? Ah, yeah, about that. There was this time when Lord Beerus tried to destroy the Earth, and I fought him and tried to stop him. You picked a fight with Beerus? <laughs> you are obviously no match for him. I wouldn't say that so much. It wasn't a fair match because he wouldn't fight me at full power. So anyway, after that, I started going to his place from time to time to train there. My dear Goku, fighting the God of Destruction, you Saiyans really are foolish creatures. Hey, it got him some very helpful transformations that in turn helped him defeat you, so foolish or not, I don't know. Once I train with Whis some more and Vegeta and I get a lot stronger, I am definitely going to want to fight Lord Beerus again. And when that happens, I don't want him to hold anything back. <sighs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Hmm? I find myself growing tired of this conversation. If you love fighting that much, then let's get started. You know, I sort of, after this yeah, conversation, you're talking. I sort of wish it was more Goku and Frieza character development. Like, for whatever reason, that sounds like it'd be pretty good. He, he's this should be a great pretty fight. cool interacting with Goku. I don't know, it's so interesting. You know, I've never really thought about it. But in a different, you know, place, different time, different context, maybe they, would have been able to work well together. I mean, apparently they team up in the upcoming tournament between all the universes that I haven't seen yet, but I really want to, but I'm waiting for it to be dubbed. Okay, so I'll have to wait for the Frieza versus Frieza clone cutscene sometime in the future. Sort of wish I could have thought about that, you know, that there's probably a very high chance that Goku and Frieza are gonna have a cutscene together, but um, yeah, we should be good. Um, I'm probably gonna play a bit of Goku, because I haven't played him in a little while. He's always a lot of fun to play as well, so it'll be worth it. You tried to counter me there, not gonna happen. Clone Frieza, you're going down. Not bad. 
Oh, okay. Not yet. Ow, 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 ow. Krillin, help me. I need Krillin to save me. Send to Bean. Wait, send to Bean. Yeah, I got it. There's some heals for me. Okay. Okay, I'm doing the sparking blast just because it stunned him for a little bit. I was able to finish him. But yeah, I really think that that would be a cool thing. I was talking about earlier, you know, the Dragon Ball multiverse thing. It was such a fun fan manga. I read it through, it wasn't finished when I read it, and that was like probably one or two years ago, so I should really pick that up again. I really, if I had time to read manga right now though, I'd probably, I still need to finish One Piece, I need to read the rest of Super, whatever's available, and then multiverse. But uh, yeah, I don't really have too much time to read manga nowadays. It's just too much, too much to do nowadays. I'm always working really hard on videos, I'm. Need to find more time to draw. There's, life's busy, you know? I, I plan on buying a sketchbook for my birthday in April. Uh, and there's making a goal for the rest of the year. Cause I like, I know, like, you know, New Year's resolutions are fun and everything, but sometimes it's that time of year is busy for me. Um, just with my line of work, I guess. Um, so it's sometimes it's easier to make New Year's resolutions later in the year and just be like, okay, from this point, a year from now, make sure I'm at this place. Okay, Yamcha, you're too good for me, buddy. You're too good for me. No, that's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to, well, what is Destructor Disc? That's what I did. Okay, game. Stop having Yamcha beat me so bad. There, defeat him. There we go, a bunch of Destructor Discs is all I need. Defeat Yamcha. Awesome, 12,000 experience, hopefully that is a level up or some for somebody, no, not quite. But that's okay, we tried. Um, we're trying to get to level 20 as Krillin because that should be a Link event and that'll be pretty cool. Um, I think we're probably gonna need to get to level 25 with Frieza, everybody else, because all the enemies need to get to level 25 most likely. Who do we have going on here? This is just two characters actually, which isn't too bad. Um, but we should probably start doing different combos with Goku if we wanted to see like, you know, possible different uh, things there. But what level is, Frieza's not really that close to a level up, so we could just stick with Cell. I mean, I think, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. I think that a number of these characters could probably have some kind of combo interactions with Goku just because they've all faced Goku. Yeah, Nappa and Ginyu have as well faced Goku. So like everybody, all the enemies we have on our team right now have all faced off with Goku. I don't, did Ginyu get beaten by Goku or Vegeta? I think it was Vegeta. I can't remember. Either way. I never thought I'd be stuck fighting alongside you. If I had my choice in the matter, I'd rather have you as my enemy. I suppose I'll just have to wait. When this is finished, I will pay you. Back. Well, to see about that one. I've gotten a lot stronger since then, so I wouldn't get your hopes up. I don't plan on losing to you. Yeah, unlike Frieza, Cell hasn't gotten any stronger, but also he could get stronger if he absorbs the right people. So it's one of those things where it's like he could catch up, but as of right now, if he's still the same Cell from the original Cell Saga, it really isn't that big of a sweat for Goku. Oh, man, you really are stupid. You think you're the only one who's gotten stronger. Mm, maybe. You trained a lot in hell, right? I mean, I guess you had a lot of time there. Hell. I have no idea what hell's like. It's a pretty rough place, right? Mean guys everywhere? Hot? I bet it's an ideal place to train. I want to go there someday. Can you talk to someone? Get me in? You fool. You don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea what hell is like. Oh yeah? Really? I was just guessing. Well then, tell me what it's like because I don't have a clue. Hell is a place filled with nothing but sorrow and misery, as well as other things. Other things? Like what? Use your Imagination. Oh, come on. You can't tell me even just a little bit, please? If you have time to waste with pointless chit chat, I suppose you can defeat these enemies all by yourself. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get to fighting. That was a weird one. That was a really weird conversation. This is why I'm actually really excited to unlock Gohan. I'm pretty sure that Gohan would at least have something we sell, but maybe even something with Frieza as well. I mean, you never know. But yeah, hopefully we can go against Frieza, or Clone Frieza and Clone Cell very soon, so I can get those respective cutscenes eventually, you know, that'd be nice. Uh, not yet, apparently. But uh, we'll get to it. I mean, I don't know how much longer we have. I'm gonna guess that the enemy, uh, enemy warrior arc is gonna be just as long as any of the other arcs. So we probably have a good while to go, you know, about like what? 12 episodes for uh, 
the first arc, another 12 for this one, so we got a long series ahead of us. <laughs> well, that's fine, I'm having so much fun with it, and hopefully you guys are too. Um, well, let me actually play well. That might be a fun idea. Uh, there we go, no, okay. Cell is a lot of fun, so you know what? I don't mind playing a bit of Cell here. Oh, we're gonna bear hug you to, to, to your doom. That's great. But uh, we got Tien here, and then he's actually our last guy we have to go against. Oh, we're gonna do Kamehameha. That was a little too far away. No, not the volleyball fist. Here we go, here we go, Super Kamehameha. Sure. What does he say, you here shall be destroyed? I have no clue. But it, he's just a, such a cool voice. Oh wow, he did like a little bit of an elbow drop there for a moment. Cell has a really cool, unique voice, so I, I'm a really big fan of it. And I think like a lot of the characters in Dragon Ball, like, you know, the voices are fantastic in the series, of course. Um, ow, ow, you know what then? Cell's getting his butt kicked, we're gonna go back to Goku, just for now. And then Krillin is gonna finish you off, actually. And then, finish him off, boom. Haha, <laughs> okay, Krillin didn't take a single hit because I'll use him for the last hit, but it is still a victory. Okay, so that should be level 19 as Krillin at the least. We make our way a little bit more through level 19. We'll get level 22 as Goku soon enough as well. Um, but I think that's all the combos I can imagine. We'll keep on trying combos with Goku to see if we can't get any more cutscenes, but I'm pretty sure there won't be. Oh, we can get somebody unlocked here. Yamcha, hey, that sounds cool. We'll go ahead and get that done then. Uh, we'll change our team up a little bit. We will replace Cell with Ginyu, see if that unlocks a cutscene. Probably not. This is, oh, that's, that's enemy Gohan. Uh, I don't think, usually people don't have cutscenes with clone versions of other people. They only have cutscenes with clone versions of themselves. But that's the boss over there. And this is Tien, so we can unlock actually more of the Z Fighters here, which is really fantastic. Um, then maybe I should make my way around. Just trying to find the best way to do this while conserving as much energy and turns and everything. Because remember, every turn we make has the potential of making somebody else here, like any of the other battles, stronger. By the way. Why do you guys always do what Frieza tells you to? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't expect an outsider like you to understand the splendor that is the Frieza Force. No, seriously. What exactly do you get from working with a mean guy like that? Money. Fine. I suppose I can tell you. The Frieza Force provides the best of the best for its warriors. We have a great healthcare package, cutting edge medical equipment, and top of the line battle suits. I guess it's true. In addition to that, if we do well in battle, we get our own planet as a bonus. That's actually pretty crazy. Like, did Captain Ginyu have his own planet? What does he do? I guess that's where his house is. Wow, I didn't really understand much of what you said, but it sounds like you get a lot. It sounded, but you know, it kind of sounds like what Vegeta gets, except his stuff is better. Well, what do you mean if, what Vegeta gets? Because he's the prince of all Saiyans? Don't be ridiculous. There are no other armies on nearby planets as amazing as the Frieza Force. No, really, I'm not kidding. Well, I don't know about any planet bonus, but he gets to eat as much as he wants and can even train to his heart's content in his own gravity chamber. Oh, he's talking about being married to Bulma. And Vegeta doesn't even have to work. He just trains all day, like all day. Goku must be jealous. What? But, uh... <laughs> They're all gonna be jealous now. Of all people, and he doesn't even work. Whoa, he really gets that kind of treatment? I might actually be jealous of that blasted Vegeta. What oh my gosh. Vegeta can't get away with this. <laughs> Pull yourselves together, man. It doesn't matter what we're paid. We're members of the strongest army ever. And we will prove that by beating Vegeta in this fight. Is Vegeta in this fight? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, what we're gonna find out, is he? No, he isn't. Then what are you talking about? <laughs> I have no clue. I guess maybe beating Vegeta in the sense that you would do get better against Vegeta here than you would, uh, than Vegeta would himself. I'm not really sure. Funny little cutscene there. So basically, they're very much so envying an unemployed person who's married to the richest scientist on Earth. That really is a situation, which is just funny, because actually, Vegeta might have it made. He gets to do what he loves to do all day, you know, which is to train. I mean, the thing is, he gets to do what he loves to do all day, but he never gets the satisfaction of actually doing it, because he's always training to be better than Goku. And he never gets to be better than Goku. Okay, sorry, Clone Krillin. 
Oh, never mind, never mind. I guess he's the one who's sorry. All right, Captain Ginyun, let's have you out. But I'm glad that he actually had a little bit of a thing there. That was a lot of fun. Anyways, get rid of you, and we're gonna keep moving. We ain't done yet. We got two more people to take care of. I really wanna unlock Trunks soon. At this point, I'm thinking he won't be unlocked until the third arc. I know we're gonna unlock Yamcha and Tien soon, probably uh, next episode, because it'll be a last round of this episode. But uh, hopefully we unlock Gohan, because I think he'll have plenty of cutscenes with stuff. But maybe I'm wrong, who knows? There we go. I'm pretty sure like Yamcha, Tien will probably have some cutscenes with uh, Nappa, I'd imagine, because of course they both fought Nappa. Uh, Piccolo and Nappa would probably have something, if I remember correctly. Of course, uh, Nappa actually killed Piccolo. Yeah, one uh, who was defending Gohan. There we go. Burder and Jice, awesome. You know, let's get Krillin back in here. Krillin, help me out. You're gonna finish. You're gonna finish Trunks off here. Get that done. Go, wait, 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 wait. Oh gosh. Wow, that was really cool. We countered him. Yo, let's try that again. Oh wait, let's try that again. Come on. Oh, that must hurt, doesn't it? Here, boom. That was a fun counter. Go like that and we win. Krillin controls really nicely. He's actually a really solid character. And he's pretty small as well, which makes it harder for you know bigger characters to hit him or any character in general to hit him. Um, but that should be level 22 as Goku and level 20 and 23 as the other respective characters. So we should have a link event for Krillin. We won't be checking that out now. We'll check that out in the next episode. But yeah, some fantastic progress made. More Z fighters are gonna be unlocked soon. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Dragon Ball Fighters. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Krillin. So when you've watched the end of the you are a Zebra Tastic viewer, check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.